Let's get salty! Everyone, Zeddy here again today with a brand new video. We are a couple days removed from the latest mini set release of Audio Apocalypse, and I wanted to recommend five decks that you can take in either standard or wild and reasonably expect to climb with, whether it's getting to silver, gold, platinum, diamond, or maybe even legend for the very first time. Uh, most of these decks, at least standard, will involve newer cards. Uh, if you go back to my last deck recommendation video, like a week or so ago, I think pretty much all those decks are still valid, but there have been some spicy additions to some decks, and I thought we'd go over those recommendations if you wanna try out those new cards. And also a reminder, we are closing in on 70,000 subscribers. If you feel like I've earned your subscription, please hit that sub button down below, give the video a like, it helps us out a ton. So, well, let's start off with standard, and I will say some of the more bottom decks, the end of the list, are decks I'm like a little bit more wary, a bit more meme or whatever. But so far, the first deck that seems to be working out pretty well, you, you'll, you will never guess, a Death Knight deck. Unholy Death Rattle. Uh, basically, it's triple and holy with the Death Rattle package. We have the new card in here that is just outright insane. Yelling Yodeler, the four mana three four undead that triggers a death rattle twice. And well, you slap that on to a foul egg, it's absurd. Nerubian egg, which now makes the cut, is absolutely absurd. You can, you know, copy those death rattles with Death Growl, which hasn't seen much play, but now with the additional support, seems to be worth running. And we still have in here, you know, Hawkstrider Rancher, Nerubian Swarm Guard, Pazic, the usual stuff. And you also have Insane Reload now with Magatha. Bane of Music, which has been an incredibly solid card in these minion heavy decks. So far, it's performing pretty well. If you want to give this a shot with some of these new cards, give it a go. Next, we have two. That's right, two warrior decks I can actually recommend. These decks are doing incredibly well. First, Menagerie Warrior, probably the more straight up deck to play that, you know, you want to play all your different minion type minions, your amalgams, all of that. We have the new card in here, new weapon, Remix Tuning Fork, which is doing incredibly well. Uh, Power Slider, which got buffed, is just an incredible stat bomb that you can get going pretty quick. That's why Zola was thrown in here. This list, by the way, is from Zach from Vicious Syndicate. He's been doing pretty well with it. Again, Magatha seeing some appearance in there, but you have the new card, Abyssal Bassist. He's slapping the boss and he's coming down for dirt cheap. You've got Nelly, of course, the one Amalgam Band. And basically, you can never run out of gas. If you can copy up one Amalgam Band, create them through Nelly and basically even with the abyssal basis if you amalgam this you're pretty much guaranteed to get another one amalgam ban and just overwhelm your opponent got astalor in here an incredible card draw with roaring applause people have been really enjoying this and also doing really well with it so i absolutely have to recommend it as well as in rage warrior another deck performing very well a little bit harder to play uh definitely a different game plan strategy you kind of want to stall out a little bit uh get your anim extractor off buffle your big charge stuff but there are new cards in here of course basically the one jam session two minute spell is just absolutely nutty giving your minions plus three plus three another whirlwind effect to get your light of the phoenix going to get your imbued axe going and basically yeah you just buff things up get ramornia big gromash big decimator olgra really large and the rift package is incredibly solid now that they're all like one less or give absurd stats like chorus rift another deck that's doing really well but definitely less straightforward to play than the menagerie warrior so pick which one you want to try if you're looking for a warrior deck and no there is no viable control warrior deck control very much dead at least in warrior control priest is viable by the way but not recommending a list because i think you would only run like the new pirate if you're going to try that out so if you're looking at control priest you could try that with the new pirate big hunter is seeing a bit of a resurgence i have to recommend this anytime we see a big hunter list that's doing okay i've got to recommend it in particular now I have access to Hollow Hound, healing in Hunter, which is pretty effective and you can even buff it up with your Hope of Kelpha loss or your Bananas, but overall the deck is pretty much the same as before. Stranglethorn Heart, pretty valuable in this deck now that it's eight mana, you can 
kill your opponent with King Crushes and all of that, try and get them out with Faithful Companion. But, you know, you got your early game, curves really well into your big beast, and the deck looks like a lot of fun to play. So I had to throw it out there. A bit more on the less safe side of things, and, well, even more on the unsafe side of things is Tic Tacs XL Spooky Mage. I'm going to be playing this on my Legend Climb because it just looks ridiculous. He got Sire Denathrius, which I can't imagine is correct, but it's in there. You got the new cards in here, like Star Power. Card's actually pretty good. It's a lot better than I thought it would be. The buffed Rotten Apple Bomb. Even Elite Torn Champion. I think I saw Tic Tac get like an 80 damage uh, back and forth bomb to go off in their opponent's face. Even running Remix Dispensobot can give you some pretty good value as well. But yeah, pretty much a greed pile where you're still trying to, you know, stall out the game with Solid Owl by Blizzards and all of that. Again, this is one that's probably not going to be a very efficient climb, not a fast climb. Hell, it might not even be a great climb because this deck can lose to a lot. But I love this deck and I got to recommend it at least to try out if you happen to have, you know, the 8 billion legendaries that it comes along with. But again, I recommend checking out our older deck recommendation video if you want to take a look at some more other safe crafts because like frosty k uh totem shaman all those style of decks outcast demon hunter big demon hunter they're all really good they're just not running that many new cards so i really wanted to highlight stuff with new cards and with wild yeah not so much luck there i'm not recommending the apm priest that i highlighted in the intro clip yesterday i've seen variants already with like giants and taunts but i don't know if it's that good yet and i just don't want to encourage crafting or like trying to get that deck to work when I haven't even seen win rates on the deck. I just know the highlights of when people high roll and win, and it's really frustrating to face or whatever. I, I can't recommend that. But what I do know is performing well, which does have a whole new card. Believe it or not, can you believe it? Secret Mage is good and wild. Like, I can't believe it. And it's because a uh, costume singer, you know? It's, it's really good. You play it on one and you draw a secret for sure. They have to kill it. And a lot of classes struggle. You know, they got a coin ping or whatever. Like, it's just an absurd card. And the rest of the deck is pretty straightforward. You can build whatever secret mage you want with it. it, it you know, just play all the cards that abuse secrets. And this list has Orion in it. It's a little bit spicier. But overall, yes, yeah, secret mage got even better. And I don't think that's really fun for anyone. Please stop making secret mage support, please. Uh, a deck that's made a big resurgence lately is Mech Paladin. Kind of counters like Questline Druid and Kingsbane Rogue, which are quite popular, which I'm going to recommend one of those. You can play Kingsbane Rogue still, by the way. It's still really good. But yeah, Mech Paladin, which has Radar Detector. Don't forget, this card exists. Two mana draw five is absurd. And now with like Frequency Oscillator in there, the buffed War Gear, the fact you're no longer board locked by seven minions, you could still magneticize with that, which believe me is relevant. And yeah, you just cheat a billion stats that on like turns two and three uh, with your radar detector, which you can, you know, tutor out with Stone Hearth Vindicator. You might even want to consider putting in like the Magatha card, five mana draw five. It's probably too slow. You really need to hit radar detector and scam really fast, but something you could consider, but yeah, play a bunch of max slap magnetic on it. And then you could give it all taunt and divine shield that like auto beats quest Druid pretty much. And a lot of those decks that just want to go face and yeah, very popular right now in wild and Questline Druid. I, I keep recommending it. It keeps doing well for people. Uh, this is just another take on it. There's so many different ones. This one's more built around a uh, groovy cat. You could tutor it with like peaceful Piper. Still have the zero mana minions to sheet out. Your ETC has like ice block tech has Big Taunt, you know, Divine Shield Mech Tech and Cobalt Tech, which I feel like you already beat Kingsbane, but they're running that. So that's the one I'm recommending. Again, the prior list I recommended probably just as valid, if not more. Shutterwalk Shaman also in there. I don't think it has any new cards. It does the usual stuff where it just scams with the Murloc package like every Shutter list does. Scargill, Ravager, uh, you got, you know, Flurgle and Tiny Finn or sorry, Toxfin, and of course, you know, cheat out mutinous, eat your opponent's hand. They threw the one amalgam ban in here. I don't know. It's spicy. Maybe try that. Seems kind of bad to me, but hey, your Shutterwalk gets to use that, right? Isn't that the battle cry? Uh, so there, there you go, you know? But uh, overall, it's pretty standard. And, you know, you, you could cut you could cut the one amalgam ban and throw in another schooling if you really want. Like, it really doesn't make that big a difference. And then lastly... Engines Omega Reno Paladin bait deck. I had to throw it out there. He got legend with a really good win rate. 
uh, like on the first day of the season, do not craft this. But if you happen to have the cards, it does look fun. He managed to win with it. I don't know how. It's got a lot of legendaries, just a few to name a few, but it's got the Diamond Zeph, which um, looks kind of bugged out in this client. But yeah, the new Diamond Zephyrus, it just plays, you know, all the controller style cards, a bunch of legendaries, some disruption, uh, uh, Speaker Stomper. There's a new card, see? Guardian of Kings, absolutely broken, and even Elite Torn Champion. This deck, absolutely not bait. Okay, just don't, I can't even sarcastically say it. Do not craft this. It is terrible. But as Engine stated, Far Watch Post kind of uh, beats the APM Priest. Every time they draw a card, they cost one more and they can't scam you as much. So maybe something to consider. Maybe there's validity to it, but I had to throw that out there for the memes. So there you go. 10 decks you can try out. Hopefully guys have some success. Again, last time I'll mention, last deck recommendation video, I'll link it below. Uh, you could take a look and see if maybe there's something there in case you're missing some of the like newer, spicier stuff. And well, good luck on your climbs. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Have a great day and stay salty, my friends.